I'm Carol Steele, Carol Steele Action Plan. Uh, today I am going to do a um, comparison of a dupe for a Pat McGrath palette, and I actually ordered the real one against my better judgment. But I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox the real one. But I just have to say, I don't think Pat McGrath has pat has cats because Duncan will try to eat all these little things. They're little, they're cute, but they get all over. So that, so I got to be real careful opening this because we all know Duncan is a hot mess sometimes. And this water bottle is going to jump up here and try to be in the unboxing of things. No, honey, it's not for you. It's not even on camera. But... So one thing I did order was um, one of her Permagel, I... Duncan, it's not for you, sir. One of her Permagel eyeliners, which I've never tried. I mean, I have the the pen, the pen one. If I can open this. They do package it very nicely. So this is in Blitz Blue. We'll see how that looks at some point. I don't know if I'm going to use it today or not. My plan is... What else is in here? Nothing. Oh. Oh, and a sharpener came with it. Well, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Then the actual palette, it came in some bubble wrap. That's covered with these things. Duncan really wants the... the the, the tinsel type things. I mean, they're cool as hell. I really like them, but they get all over. Like I said, she probably doesn't have cats or, you know. So let me close this up before you know who gets all up in the business. This is going to need to go out in the recycling right away. Instead of here. Because these cats are kind of like toddlers, and I'm always running, yelling at Duncan to get things out of his mouth. So it came in this package like this, and then I opened it up like this. Duncan, would you like to see it? Would you like to be on camera? Oh, now he's, he's gone. So and then it pops out like this. And it has like a little, little thing with the colors on it. So that's pretty cool. It's a lot of goes in our packaging, and... It's a very expensive brand, and I understand that, so I normally, but look at this. It's beautiful. So this was $125. This one was $20, $24. So it's pretty dupey. So what we're going to do is I am going to... Attempt to look on, um, I went on the Sephora website and has, um, like, how to use. It says, follow the steps to achieve these classic Pat McGrath editorial eye looks. So, I haven't done any face makeup, but gave my face a break all weekend. And I am going to try to fumble through this on Sephora. So, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try I already did my eyebrows. They're kind of busted ass, but that's okay. And I got my color changed so I can... Hey, dude, it's, nothing's for you around here. Not everything is yours, Duncan. So the look that I was looking at was... Um, I don't know. I would think I'll do the one called Virtual Reality. A multi-dimensional blue-violet color shifting eye. And it says, use lilac dust to build the base, creating outwards and upwards to the brow bone. I don't know if I can do that. We'll see. So which one am I going to do? Lilac Dusk. So Lilac Dusk is this lavenderish one. Now I need to find the corresponding one in the Cult Mystics by Bad Habit. So I'm guessing it's going to be this one, which is called Essence. So one eye is going to be the Pat McGrath, and one eye is going to be, so how am I doing that? Put your face outwards, upwards toward the brow, brow bone. Build the base. It doesn't say, this is where I get bad with directions. It doesn't say to, it doesn't say to do it like in the crease. Do I start on a lid? It's substance to... Okay, let me see. I need my glasses. So confusing. Oh, so Luke Perry died. Very sad. Substance. So the one next to it I'm adding. 
Okay, I guess I'll do it all over my lid. I guess. I don't know the instructions. I'm not a pro. So Luke Perry died. Very sad. He had a massive stroke not long ago. I sort of know how that feels. Not exactly. Because my, my shit was a little different. So I'm going to... Did I even bring a mirror? No, I did not. Let's use this mirror on my Cult Mystic because it opens all the way back. That's one thing about the Pat McGrath one. It doesn't open all the way back like this one does. But I understand. So Pat McGrath is going to go on my right eye. And then... I guess it says go up towards... Build the base blending outwards and upwards to the brow bone. Oh, I almost used the wrong one. I don't know how far upwards and outwards, but whatever, we're just going to go for it. So today's my day off. I work four tens and so I go back to work tomorrow. So now I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to make some mole meatballs. Paleo mole meatballs. So I got this first part. Of, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. So now I'm going to go into the... Use my color switcher. Whoever invented these. I hope they made a lot of money because they're awesome. So I'm going to go into Essence. Which is the, the, the dupe. The equivalent of the Pat McGrath one. On my left eye. So some people are totally against dupes. And I understand it. Um, I also understand that some people can't afford a $125 palette. I couldn't afford it unless I could make payments on it. So I get that. And I really like these bad habit dupes. Because then it gives you a chance to try it out. And I chose this one out of all her, her palettes because I think this is one I will use the most. So that's why I chose this. Chose it. If I'm going to spend $125 on something, I want to make sure I'm going to use it. Then what's the point? So this is the Bad Habit Eye. This is the Pat McGrath Eye. Okay, let me see. I feel like I didn't put enough, drop enough on the Pat McGrath Eye. Okay, let me get back in the Pat McGrath which is down here. Do this on my... Alright, so next I'm supposed to add substance to create depth in the crease of the eyelid and add definition near the lower lash line. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna put it in my crease and then go on my lower lash line with it. So, substance is this taupey thing right here. So it's right next to that one. You find a good, uh, you find a decent crease, crease brush. I use this, I've been using Medallion Tools Golden Triangle brushes so far. I love them because they, I can hold them easier because I'm still sort of a gimp. So Luke Perry's son is actually a pro wrestler and he's signed to All Elite Wrestling, which is the new, I wonder if he's going to be on the cruise, which is the new uh, promotion that Chris Jericho and Cody and the Young Bucks are doing. And yes, I'm still going on the cruise. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for everything, but I'm going to do it, damn it. So I'm trying to find the equivalent one on the Bad Habit side too. Substance. I'm guessing altered state is what I'm looking at for the bad habits side. So let's get substance going on. What are you doing? Hey, Duncan! No! Quit rooting around on things. So this is supposed to go in the crease. And then they said do it on the, uh, this is hard doing two different palettes. It's a little challenge, but I'm up for the task. Hey, what are you doing, dude? Quit messing with things. Everything's not food. All right. 
Let me see, find something for my lash line. Because she's this. Oh, here, let me let me break out a Juvia's Place brush. It's a small corner brush, but Duncan, there's no food in there. Let me get this on my lower lash line. I love the mirror though. It's like a beveled mirror. That's that's high class, baby. Let me get this in my lower lash line. It obviously has a coating on it because I can't see it very well. Ah, screw it. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. From what I could see so far, okay, now I'm going to do the other eye with Substance, and then the dupe color is um, Altered State. From what I could see is the Bad Habit ones have uh, more, more glitter in them, like their little sparkler. So let's get Altered State in my, in my crease. It's like I'm jumping back and forth on topics. That's how I am in real life. I may have ADD. I don't know. So I put that in my crease to deepen it. And now I'm going to go back in with the other little brush to do my under eye. Um, so this week I work tomorrow 10 hours and then Wednesday 10 hours. But then we're supposed to meet my mom for dinner. Because she's going to be in town for her work, for her job. My mom lives in Oregon. I don't see her that often because we both work a lot. So that'll be nice. Then uh, that's on Wednesday. Then Thursday and Friday, I got voluntold to go to a training with for my job because my boss didn't want to go. So I'm going to go, um, which is fine. So we like my... Fourth, fourth year in a row, the same training. Um, it's a good training. It's a science of addiction medicine training. So it's up my alley. And they give you breakfast and lunch. So, you know, I base training on how good are the, is the food and what I learn. So that's going on. Then I will bet back to my regular schedule of having... Looks like someone's home for lunch while I'm trying to film a video. Look who's home for lunch while I'm filming a video. It's my favorite. Huggins Rito has arrived. <laughs> your your stuff isn't here yet from uh your your drone has not arrived. So now it says take it to the next level and transform the lid color by pressing violet VR violet with your finger. Okay, I gotta find VR violet. I almost turned the heat on, but I didn't. Because I didn't want to get in trouble. You don't get in trouble when you turn the heat on. You just get in trouble when you leave it up at 75. What? What? Hey, don't be telling people my secrets. <laughs> okay, I'm done ratting you out. Why would you do that? Have some shepherd's pie, please. Oh, I had some last night. Have some more. Stop tossing me around. <laughs> so I'm trying to find the equivalent of VR Violet on the Bad Habit palette. I'm doing a comparison, a cons not a, cons a comparison. I think it's going to be Transcend. Okay, we'll go with that. Right, let me take this to the next level with VR Violet on my lid. With my finger. I don't really like the finger stuff. Mm, I'll do it. With your finger tip until reaching the desired effect. See, Transcend seems more orangey to me than Violet, but whatever. So I'm doing the VR Violet from the Pat McGrath.
I guess so. And then I'm just following someone else's just things for a look. So, you know me, I, I usually a lot more extra than this. So I got that on my lids. And so reaching design. Awaken eyes by illuminating the inner corners with VR violets. So I'm going to try to awaken my eyes by putting VR violet in my inner corner. Luke Perry's dead! What's that? Luke Perry died. The guy's here? Luke Perry died. He's in the bathroom. He's on? No, I said Luke Perry died. 90210. Oh, Dylan died. What's that? Dylan died. I saw that they put him in the, that he got in the hospital. Hi, YouTube. What'd you say? I said hi, YouTube. <laughs> But you know that his son is in AEW, right? No, his I, I, son's a pro wrestler. How, how fun is that? I might meet him on the cruise. Mark, care less. All right, so now I'm going to go with the dupe side, which I guess is transcend is the closest one I could find. I guess the dupe side seems a lot more more glittery. It's all right. It's an all right look. I think I didn't do the first part with the uh, blending the um, first color up into my brow bone enough. It's not like I can't go back and do that, so I'm going to do that real quick. It's a super pretty palette, though. Let me try the other side. I think I just need some more blending action. You find my favorite blending brush ever amongst all the other damn brushes. Oh, yeah, it's my Juvia's Place large blending brush. Oh, burn it and it's cold. Me it's too. It's not even that cold. It, but it is cold. It's, it's not Midwest cold. That's not Midwest cold. Oh, but I just hate it. That's why I don't live in the Midwest. Me too. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> what the hell? I want my rainy, warm days back. What the hell, Washington? So I'm just, I'm deciding if I'm gonna do any, um, if I'm gonna do any eyeliner or not. You know, I'm not gonna. Not today, Satan. But although, I, although I do, although I do want to try out the, um, the new eyeliner. I think I will do it on my lower lash line, just for fun. The bougie eyeliner. Whoa. I'm making the meatballs. What's that? I'm gonna make the meatballs. Oh, cool. Excuse me for making noise on your phone here. It's okay. Apologize. Everybody likes to see you. You're like the eye candy. <laughs> I'm glad I could serve a purpose in the Carol Steele action plan world. You do serve a purpose. You're my favorite. <laughs> Besides just being cute. Oh, this is some nice island. There's so much more to the hoodies we do. Have some nice blue eye blitz blue eyeliner. comes on pretty easy so I'm gonna also use uh, her new mascara which is the other thing I got where did it go oh, it's right here the fetish eyes mascara I did wear this mascara on Saturday because I couldn't wait to try it out and it's pretty good that's all I wore was mascara and lip gloss to work on Saturday was that mascara uh, just mascara and lip oil day? Yeah, mascara and lip oil day. Because uh, I really wanted to test it out. I watched that video. <laughs> there, was, there was no video. I thought there was a video. It was just that. a picture. It said, today I'm only doing mascara and lip oil. Just a picture. Boy, I think 
Lie. <laughs> he just got caught a video watching lie. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to watch all the videos, Mark, so I can you can help me with my engagement hours. You, you get more engagement the more times they get watched. Maybe I do. That's the key with Mark and videos. Make them short. The shorter they I are, try. the more it is I'm gonna watch them. I'm just I hate to say it. I'm one of I can't get everything said I need to say in a real short video. Can't say everything you need to say in a short video? No. No? Nope. All right. So I'm going to stop this for now. I'm going to go hang out and I'm going to make some mole meatballs, which I'll film for this channel. And then I will check back to, after that, see how the wear time was. I'm not going to do a, I'm not going to do a setting spray. So just no setting spray will make things last longer. Well, it, allegedly. All right. I'll see you in a bit. And welcome back and I'm sorry I look like a mess I was just cooking but that's what I want to do because I was working on the, the eyeshadows so this eye is the dupe palette the bad habit beauty palette see my shit's worn off I've had a nap I've cooked I burnt myself a little bit but it's, it's okay and so I remember one eye was bad habit beauty which was this palette and then the other one was Pat McGrath Labs subliminal, subliminal One Pat Mothership Subliminal One palette and I can't tell much of a difference I did the same mascara and same eyeliner on each side and you know I didn't do setting spray so to me this eye kind of looks a little bit better but this eye is just fine it could do fine with a touch up so there you have it if you can afford $125 palette then go for it but if you can't who cares you can get a $24 dupe so I really like the brand Bad Habit and I really like Pat McGrath so it's up to you but don't ever feel bad that you can't ex afford really expensive makeup because there's dupes out there that you can do just as good of a look with it doesn't matter it's just makeup have a great night I'm gonna go deal with my face and get ready for bed and I'll see you soon see you later Thanks for watching.